Now let's discuss the questions related to identity, algebraic identities, right? We know that a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. And if it is minus, then a square minus 2ab plus b square and the third identity as well. So we are going to apply this identity to rational numbers and we are going to solve the questions. Let's start with the very first question that is 2 plus root 3 whole square. So how to solve this kind of question? Remember this is of the form a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. It is of this form right. So let's apply the identity over here that is a square. So we have here 2 square plus 2ab. So a is what 2 and b is what in our case that is root 3 done plus here root 3 square done now 2 square is 4 plus here 2 into 2 that is 4 and root 3 over here plus square of root 3 is what 3 do not write 9 over here remember the reason behind this that root 3 into root 3 this is what it means by the square and here it will be square root of 9 so that is what 3 do not write 9 over here right okay now can we simplify further i believe yes we can so 4 and 3 will give you 7 plus here 4 root 3 so this is the answer very simple it is we just need to remember we just need to recall the identity that we learned previously nothing else no need to remember the new identities this will work for any kind of expressions right so a plus b whole square is equal to a square that is 2 square then plus 2 a b a is 2 b is root 3 in our case and here b square that is root 3 square so simplify further and get the answer check if we can do any kind of simplification over here if we cannot do it that's okay just write it as it is if we can do addition then go ahead with that let's discuss one more question so we have over here both of them as the irrational number that is root 5 minus root 7 whole square so see this is for the subtraction and this is for the addition only sign will be changed method is going to remain same so first of all let's write the identity that is a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square done so in our case we will be taking a as the root 5 and b as the root 7 so let's apply it then here we can write a square that is root 5 whole square minus 2 into a that is root 5 then b is root 7 plus b square that is root 7 square very simple it is right so a square root 5 and minus 2ab that is minus 2 root 5 root 7 plus b square that is root 7 square now here remember root 5 square like here will be root 3 square that is what 3 so here root 5 square will be what 5 only don't write 25 minus 2 over here and let's multiply multiply root 5 and root 7 that is square root of 5 7 that is what 35 and here square root of 7 square means what only 7 remember so 5 and 7 we can add them up like previously we did there so 5 and 7 that is going to make what 12 and minus 2 square root of 35 very simple right you just apply the identity follow the rules of the irrational number while you do the square don't write 25 that's incorrect so this is how we apply the identity a plus b whole square and a minus b whole square let's discuss few more questions let's discuss two more question related to previous concept so here we have 2 root 3 plus 5 root 7 previously we had only like root 3 or root 7 and maybe 2 and root 3 right so how to deal with this question as well let's start with the solution again remember over here we are going to apply the identity that is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus what b square right a square plus 2ab plus b square our case in this case b what 5 root 7 done so 
that being done now let's substitute the value a square first of all so a square that is what 2 root 3 and whole square plus we have here 2a that is 2 root 3 and b that is 5 root 7 plus 5 root 7 whole square done so now let's solve this one interesting case over here so 2 root 3 so we can write square of 2 is what 4 only done and square of root 3 is what like previously we discussed that is 3 plus 2 into 2 that is 4 4 5 are, that is 20 and under the square root that is 3 and 7 that is 21 plus square of 5 is what 25 and here root 7 that will be 7 only don't write 49 so 4 3s are that is 12 over here plus 20 square root of 1 21 sorry plus 25 7 are that is what 175 so here now if you add 12 and 175 that is 1 8 and 7 plus 20 square root of 21 that so very easy to solve it but you need to keep this and this step in mind right you need to do the square of individual numbers square of 2 that is 4 square of root 3 that is 3 and same for the second case afterwards it's all same like we did previously at the first and last because there is no square root in it both are whole numbers so add them up and this is how we get the answer so this is how we simplify now let's discuss how we deal when we have the minus it's sim similar only we just need to put the negative sign rest calculation is going to remain same so here the identity will be what a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square simple now a in our case this is 3 root 2 and b is 7 root 5 so let's start with that so a square that is 3 root 2 and whole square minus 2 into a is 3 root 2 and b is what 7 root 5 plus b here 7 root 5 but in this case we have square over here very simple you simplify further and you'll get an answer so here 3 that is 9 and here 2 minus 2 3s are that is 6 6 7s are that is 42 and square root of 2 into 5 that is 10 plus here the square of 7 is 49 and square of square root of 5 is what 5 only so here 9 2s are that is 18 minus 42 square root of 10 plus here if you multiply that is 2 4 and 5 now see this and this they are what whole numbers so let's add so 8 and 5 that is going to make 3 and carry over 1 4 and then 5 and 6 and here 2 as it is minus 42 square root of 10 this is the final answer so very simple it is right we just the difference between these two identity we know very well it's a sign only plus and minus so method is going to remain same but you should be very careful while you simplify now let's discuss the sums related to next identity now let's discuss the sums related to next identity so we know this identity as well you can see over here 2 minus root 3 2 plus root 3 so generally we can write this as the form a minus b and a plus b that is what a square minus b square very simple right so this identity we are going to use and this identity is also very important in the case of rationalization that's the next topic right so let's start with the sum what we need to do we just need to do the square of individual term and put the negative sign between them so here that is 2 square minus root 3 and here whole square as well so square of 2 that is 4 and square root of 3 is what only 3 so if you subtract you are going to get answer 1 very simple it is let's discuss one more question here also we are going to apply the identity that a plus b and a minus b is equal to a square minus b square so let's take the square of them here root 3 and square minus here root 5 
and square so if you do the square in this case you are going to get 3 and in this case you are going to get 5 so 3 minus 5 that is minus 2 simple right so this is how we solve it let's discuss one more here we have the irrational along with the whole numbers right so here also we are going to apply the identity a minus b into a plus b is equal to what a square minus b square very simpler right so let's do the square here 4 square root of 2 whole square minus 3 square root of 5 and whole square as well now square of 4 is what 16 and square of square root of 2 is what 2 only minus here square of 3 that is 9 and here that is 5 only so 16 twos are that is 32 minus 9 fives are that is 45 so we have negative answer 5 minus 2 that is 3 and here 1 right so that is minus 13 so this is how we do the sums related to identity in the context of the irrational number right so we discuss two basically two or three identities right for a plus b whole square a minus b whole square then a minus b and a plus b right so this is how we approach the identity with the reference of irrational number.